Well, welcome everybody to Vintage Farmhouse Antiques here on YouTube. And we've got a show and tell session we're going to film and show you. We're going to go through the uh, pieces of china that uh, came into our possession this morning, actually, from our uh, little buying trip. Kate's got some uh, surprise things to come out onto the table in the end, but we're going to run you through while we enjoy a very well-deserved limoncello spritz through the uh, selection in front of you. Some vintage and a couple of antique pieces. A really nice looking, uh, I love this teapot. I think that's probably buy of the day, or maybe not. Maybe it's these uh, lovely Victorian Tarza stands that are taking your interest. Or a little bit of blue and white perhaps. But join us while we run you through this lovely selection of vintage and antique china. Well, if you wonder why we're drinking the cocktails, we're actually celebrating our 38th wedding anniversary. So uh, I think that's well deserved that we're still talking to each other and still able to go out and recreationally shop for some lovely pieces of vintage and antiques china. So who's going to start, Kate? Do you, want to, do you want to kick off or do you want me to start? Um, you start. Me start. You do okay. it so well. Okay, okay. Well, I suppose the biggest display on here we've got is actually... The most modern stuff, which is the Duchess Bone China. And uh, I've come back with five of these teacups and saucers. The pattern is a very pretty little pink and uh, bluey, little bluebells on there. And uh, I don't know whether they're primroses or rosebuds. I think it's probably rose. This is Duchess Glen. Pattern number is 316, as you can see on there. Mid-century. Duchess Marks, probably a little bit later than that. It's in such good condition, that's why it really caught my attention. I've got five cups and saucers, a spare saucer, um, one, two, three, four, five cereal bowls, six dessert plates, and five dinner plates, which were the really rare find. The dinner plates are the ones that are the hardest to actually come across, and it's all in such lovely bright condition. Just look at the gilt on the side of that. They are absolutely beautiful. The dinner plates are a lovely size as well. They do, they look like they've never been used, to be fair. Yeah, just look at They're the They're incredible. Gilding. The condition is absolutely perfect. Yeah. They are nice. I think they will do very well. There's two patterns I usually buy when I see uh, Duchess, the two big sellers. Duchess Glen and Duchess Tranquility. Both similar, slightly different colour tones, but I think Glen's probably the prettiest. Mm, I agree. It's very, very pretty. Should we move them to one side then so we can look at the other items? Okay. Right. Let's take some of these out of the, uh, the fray. And move some of these other bits in. Move that to one side because I'm just worried about damaging them. Okay. Everything's in screen now, so... Okay. Um, should we talk about these? Not this. Let's move this out. These two. Because I spotted these and you were, well, you were quite un disinterested, to be fair, if, if I'm honest. I absolutely loved them at first sight. I thought they were just perfect. I could tell by looking at them that they were going to be a real hard work to identify. Oh, they're just perfect. Though. They're just gorgeous, are they aren't perfect? they? perfect? Well, they're not perfect. No, they're imperfectly perfect, darling. Shabby shoes, There's, I'd say. Oh, just something about them. I think they've got an age to them. They have. And I just love them. I just, they just, to me, they scream summer. And just look at these fabulous flowers on them. Um, I just think they scream sort of afternoon tea or summer party. I just love them. I just think they're really, really pretty. Really elegant, really usable. They're totally my sort of thing, aren't they? I love old things. We, I think they, I think, they were, I think it's probably they're the oldest items we bought today. Oh yes, definitely. These are probably 1890s through to around early 1900s. I think they could be older. Maybe, mm. maybe. They're English, I, I suspect. I'm not sure. I think they could be... Yeah. And I'm saying that because they're earthenware, they're not I think porcelain. they could be older than you think. So I don't think they're Limoges. I think they're probably English Staffordshire. Yes, I think, I think they're I think they English. are probably late Victorian, maybe a little earlier. I think they could be earlier. The font on the pattern number is very... If anyone recognises them, please let Great us know. Victorian. I've done image searches on them before. You can't find them. I no. think they're very, very rare. I've never seen nothing this coming up. pattern before. It's incredible. I mean, why I, why I didn't bite bite the arm off the seller was that they are, have got quite a bit of... Uh, They've been used. ...wear on the actual yeah. surface. They've got knife marks. They've got a little bit of pattern They've damage here where it's left. just worn away. They're still 
Very but the transfer is still very good. There's no actual damage on them in terms of chips or, or, or Ooh, marks or anything. Go away, And yeah, they're charming. Um, very, quite naive, the sort of uh, the stem on that one. I mean, it's well decorated, but then no gilt on it. And the, the lineage is quite naive. Do you know what? If you don't think anyone's going to want them, they may just have to stay here. Yes, they probably I will stay here. They may just stay here. Yeah, she's, she's stashing those on a dresser. Yeah. Okay. They do go with a lot of very similar patterns. There's one called, I think, Spode Tapestry, which is a very similar sort of decoration to this with these floral garlands in pink and white. And then this is moulded through as well, which is not yet there. I'm, I'm just in love with them. I think they're stunning. Okay. And useful pieces of tableware for yeah. either serving... Beautiful. ...being on or cakes. Anyway, moving on, let's mm -hmm. go to the teapot. Okay. Now, I love this. I think it was probably my buy of the day. It was a bargain price and it's in lovely condition. James Sadler, period teapot, probably 1930s or 1940s. And it was the shape and this rose basket decoration that absolutely mm. sort of sold it to me. Beautiful moulding on the undersurface. Quite a squat, low-level, stable teapot. I think that is that the Aladdin style teapot. I think it might be, you know. Um, sort I think of. That yeah. design is called, it's called, an, called Aladdin. an Aladdin. I've yeah. not heard that one before, Just but you shape. could be right. Yeah. Nice and clean inside. Has been used. Got some tannin staining down the spout, <clears> but the actual <throat> gilt around the spout, absolutely great. And a sort of not not early early Sadler mark. That sort of 1950s, 60s. Oh, I was thinking 1920s. Well, I thought looking at it shape wise, yeah. it definitely shouts 1920s and 30s. But the Sadler mark on that. Do you think it's later? It tends to suggest that this it's was so, made in a so, retro style. So pretty. Yeah, really nice it. decoration. Absol Again, it screams summer, Beautiful doesn't it? Beautiful piece. Lovely size, probably two pint. Screams summer tea party. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good, actually, it would be quite nice for a Bridgeton tea party. Sorry, I'm just into Bridgeton at the moment. full on Regency. It isn't, but, I know but where it you're is coming so from. pretty. <laughs> it's pretty enough, and yeah. the gilt on there just oh, pings as well. I love it. Shape wise, yeah. lovely piece. Right, moving on to your blue and white cereal bowls. My last piece. Let's get the teapot out of the way. I've had these before and I'm probably just buying them to go back on catalogue and sale on the Vintage and Antiques website because they always prove really popular. Lovely little English dessert plates. Fa fairly Ooh, modern, I think, aren't they? Mm, I think, think they are, yeah. I think they're fairly modern. This Rose was Bouquet, food, probably. Royal Victoria. Made in England. Mm, I would say those are 1960s. Oh, that old? I, I think they've probably got 40 or 50 years, maybe okay. maybe 60 years on them. Really nice blue and white transfer design, called bouquet, with these lovely little borders. So pretty. Such a nice, nice, usable, everyday. Yeah, if I just give you the side elevation on those, small little dessert set bowls with rimmed and moulded. Lovely. If you love blue and white china and you want blue and white china that you can use every day, this is a really good pattern. Go really well on the dresser display mm -hmm. as well. These are yeah. not too deep. They're not the big English rim soup bowls. These are little dessert bowls. Probably would have originally been sold with a, a serving bowl, which you probably will still be able to pick up. Now, I'm getting super excited because I want to show you what you haven't seen in my basket. Mm. You weren't with me. So, the first thing I'm bringing out, which you're probably going to Eight. I'm going to take a large amount of this lemon chai right, before you get this out. I'm going to give this to the china expert to have a look. What is that? Um. <laughs> Be nice. Well, I think it's studio pottery. I don't think this is made by a large factory. Just look at the inner glaze that they've used on here. It's, it's not glazed inside, so it can't. you can't fill this with water. It's unusual. Oh, really? No. Nope. Oh. That's going to be porous. Are you sure? Yeah. And it's not glazed across the base. And this is almost slip glazed. And there's a big thumb mark in there where somebody's picked it up and another one here. So do you think somebody's made this? Yes. It's hand by made. hand. It's yeah, it's handmade. handmade. Um, Age-wise, you can't tell. I don't know. Fairly I mean, it's modern. quite Fairly a, modern. It's that modern. pattern is probably, yeah. I mean, it I could have, it, oh, that's fairly modern. I think it's it. Could have made, been made two weeks ago, could have been made 20 years ago or longer. Or longer. I think it is, it's fairly modern yeah. style. But just tap it, hold it up and tap it. Why? Well, it doesn't ring, does Are you it? Sure? It, is, I, I think, it is pottery. I think it has had water in. It is pottery. Oh, no, it's not china. Yeah. 
But I didn't buy it. I bought it as a flower gel. You don't think I can actually put flowers in it? Well, a dried flower arrangement. But I think yes. if you fill that with water, then you will have problems. We I shall find it, out. Because I'm going will, to fill it with water. It will seep. Oh, it's okay. rustic, isn't it? I, I mean, love very it. rustic. I bought it because I loved it. And I had to pay quite a lot for it, actually. I think it cost more, crazily, than the antique teapot. Or the antique tarsus. That is a bit crazy, but I bought it because I loved it. Well, but, you know, that, with a lot of this stuff, you've got to buy... I love it. You, I do love not, it. I still love it. You're not buying it because it's got any intrinsic it was value. Mo- it was my most expensive buy of the day. You're not buying a brand. You're not buying a name. You're buying a piece of... Um, decor basically aren't you interior yes, decor I did want to put flowers Styling. in it but I can always put artificial flowers in it it very much goes with the style of our house doesn't it and our kitchen in particular the rest shabby of... <laughs> anyway I'll take it away I know you I didn't think you'd be a fan but I love it you didn't ask before you uh, bought that I didn't buy this to sell the China because I know guy's I opinion I bought this to keep can right. tell you why okay I am having a project at the moment. My project is, my project is sort out my shed. So while Mike is buying lovely china that works out, I am busy buying tins. I had a fantastic time. Look at these, oh my goodness. Wait till you see this amazing collection of tins that I bought. I I had a lovely time. Let's get them in camera so you can see them. Let's go through them one by one because I've got six. So we did have a fun trip. So, right, bring some in here. So okay, should we start with the? Uh, let's start with the big one. The big one. So this is just a oh. fairly modern cake tin, isn't it? Yep. Let's see. Hi, no actually, markings. it's not that modern. Do you want to hold it's it? It's probably a biscuit tin from the 1960s or 70s. Well, it's not that modern. It's actually got some age to it. Yeah. I thought it was literally, you know last week sort of thing but actually looking at it I think that has got age to it the reason I bought this tin lovely gold I uh, love this tin gold interior the reason I bought this tin is my shed has had a mouse infestation my garden shed so I'm I'm looking for tins that I can put things in so I can keep all my garden twine in a tin I can keep all my garden gloves in a tin because the field mice where we live we live on the edge of the fields um and the mice come into the shed. That's a nice... I love my tin. Nice tin. That was a bargain, that tin. I totally love it. I'm yeah. so pleased with it. Okay. That's tin number one. <gasps> Wait till you see the next two tins. Oh, my goodness. Tell me what you think of these. Go on. These two. These were from the same cellar. Yeah, I, that's really They pretty, are such it? beautiful. This guy always has beautiful yeah, items. Classic Huntley and Palmer biscuits. Reading and London, England. So that sort of dates that one nicely to... That's uh, a stunner. That's too nice to put in the shed. Oh, yeah, you don't want to put these that in the shed. These are so pretty. You don't, want, don't want it to rust anymore, that which is one, a problem with a lot of this, these, isn't it? This particular seller, he's a, he's a vintage toffee. dealer. He has yeah. the most wonderful Thorns things. Toffee. I know why you went for that one. Still got its label it's on so there, beautiful. sorted toffees. But My friend has those dogs as well. sucker for anything doggy, aren't you? And that's a nice hinged lid as well. They're, they're, yeah. Those are the nicest tins I've ever bought, actually. Very nice vintage they're tins. I'm in love with these tins. They're too, oh, they're too nice to put in the shed. I wouldn't put those in the shed, yeah. but I'd use the big one. Because it's going to see useful size. Big ones definitely going in the shed. Yeah. Okay, these are definitely shed tins. Have a look at this one. I don't know when that's made. When was that made, do you think? Simmer. Baker's Choice. I think this is fairly Chocolate modern. It's a modern. Otis. This is a modern. It's, got, it's in grams. Yeah, yeah, this so is a modern tin. These 1980s, two, again, 90s. these two are from the same cellar. These are much more modern. And that was probably sold in a tea shop or... Yeah, I, but they're perfect for my shed. I can, can keep gardening paraphernalia in them. They're just perfect. Mm. I hope this man okay. I'm going to put, um, you know the things that you put next to plants? I'm going to put them there. And I'm going to put maybe garden twine in that one. Then I they were really they're shed tins. And yeah. the last is probably the worst actually. <laughs> and the, this tin was this is probably the worst tin. This is the most modern. This is a made in China tin. I think that's straight out of some interiors, cheap yeah. interiors. Um but it's perfect for keeping garden twine. So that is a that that is going in my shed to yeah, keep my even lost its original handle. It would have had a metal. Would it handle have had a handle? It would. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? It's perfect for my it's shed. Okay. Yeah. Cheap tins. Uh, it's a cheap tin, and actually all I'm going to do is put a big ball of string in it, 
because the mice have been eating the string, sadly. Anyway, that's my haul of tins. Shall I bring the beautiful tins back? I think we need to... I'm just going to go look in my basket, see if there's anything else in there, because I was quite busy today. Oh my goodness, no, I think that's it. Right, I was quite restrained. All I bought were tins. Anyway, we'll just bring the beautiful tins back, and you can finish up, darling. Well, you didn't spend a fortune. <laughs> I was a cheap date. What? Well, that was our wedding anniversary date. I think that it took me to a, a car boot and a chat. Probably the most expensive and, and most dodgy. Don't talk over me, darling. <laughs> is the jug, which I'm in two minds about. That jug. I'm a cheap date. That was my anniversary treat. Ooh, I don't think I'm done yet. I'm not off the hook with that one. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed looking at our... Uh, These are so pretty. ...recreational purchases. A few of them anyway. are going to end up on our website. Cheers. Some of them definitely aren't. Happy wedding anniversary. Yeah, and to you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.